too fast. Too fast. So you're telling me that there's a possibility to hit too fast. Oh, I'm sorry, man. I guess I hit you too fast. And I guess I'm the one who should be dead. Oh, I guess I arrived a bit too fast in my exam, so I guess I failed. Oh, I guess I ran too fast in the race, so I should be in the last place, no? Oh, yeah, so I haven't uploaded in a while, but you know what? I missed you guys. And currently, I'm still in quarantine at my girlfriend's house, and this is why uh, my audio is not the same, because I'm not currently at my usual recording station. But uh, I'm currently drowning in homework, and uh, this semester is really, really tough. But no matter, I am here today with a Witcher video. You guys remember when I said that this game was the worst I've ever played? What is the worst game I played? The Witcher 1? A game that I really tried to get into, but it never worked. Well, I am here to correct myself today. This is not really a review, but more of a philosophical intake on the great works of the prophets over there at CD Projekt Red. I am basically here to rant about a game. When I first put my hands on The Witcher, I didn't know anything about the series. I haven't played The Witcher 3 yet, and as of the time of this recording, the only game I played in the series is this one. So I am very, very unbiased. I was expecting it to live up to the hype that people have on The Witcher 3 as well, and boy am I here to tell you that this game sucks. I mean, don't get me wrong, in the end I actually had a lot of fun playing this game, and the story is actually pretty decent, but it's still sh I started playing it because my laptop could not run new games because I left my gaming computer and PS4 at home. And this is the only thing I have available on my girlfriends. And to be honest, I'm glad. I finally got introduced to the Witcher series and I will finally understand why people are so excited about these games. If I did have my gaming PC, I wouldn't have touched this game, but boy, am I happy that I'm deprived of the only thing that can take me out of reality and put me in a better world than what's outside at this moment. I originally didn't like the game because of the combat, the graphics, the clunky animations, the terrible voice acting, the walking, the talking. Basically, I didn't like anything about the game. But once you get past the fact that you don't live in 2003 anymore... Oh wait, this game came out in 2007? Not 2003? Ouch. So once you're past that, you can definitely enjoy the game. The combat is probably the biggest letdown and really didn't age well. It did not age like a cheese or a wine, it aged like Bethesda. But even then, even Bethesda was good at some point. You need to time the attacks correctly because of some reason attacking too fast is bad and you need to choose between the strong attack, the fast attack and the group attack and then multiply that by 2 because you have to use the silver or the steel sword depending on what you're fighting. The game is really hard, like extremely hard. Some fights were so impossible that I had to install a mod that made me invincible to complete them. And even then, even then, I would still die. Don't ask me how. I tried to play the game without any cheats, but the experience was so bad with the combat that I couldn't help myself. But the story made sure to make up for it. Another downside that I found with the game is that it involves a lot of walking. And most of the time you cannot use shortcuts. It's full of invisible walls like... <coughs> Dragon Age Origins. And the side quests that sometimes become really annoying. Also, if you're like me and you prefer to have a clean and empty quest log, f*** that. Most of the quests I had in the quest log were the same. I mean, one of them would say I need to find someone better, another would say fight someone strong, and another one would be maybe I should look for someone stronger. And I am not kidding, that actually happened. My quest log was crying. When it came to the NPCs, yeah, everyone looks pretty much the same. I swear, there are only about 10 character models in the game. There's Geralt and Triss, and then you have poor guy number one, poor guy number two, hooker, fat guy, old as f lady, fat guy number two, and old guy. There are some exceptions, but the amount of times that I thought that this guy was the merchant I was looking for was crazy. But when it comes to my overall experience, I would have to say that I enjoy this game. It now holds a special place in my heart. I remember one night my girlfriend was not feeling good, so I stood up all night to make sure she was alright, and I played this game to keep me awake. Every time I would finish some homework, I would go to this game and make me think of other things. This game summarizes what I've done for the first two weeks of quarantine, and I can say that it wasn't so bad. So to Christian of the past that said that this game was the worst game you've ever played, think again. 